to another day in the life of a reseller vlog. We got a new vlog published this morning. I've also been busy uh, revising some listings. I think I did 15 listings this morning, revised it, lowered the prices, changed shipping from uh, free shipping to calculated shipping. So I put some effort into that. And we did have a couple sales come in overnight. So let's take a look and see what sold. So one of these sales was an interesting item I found for just $2 at the Goodwill a while back. Picked it up for $2. It was unpriced, brought it to the register. They gave it to me for $2. And uh, we made quite a bit of money on it. You'll see, let me show it to you. There you see it, Big Store had two orders for $101.95, $101.95 for just two orders. First item sold for $17.16, it's a pair of Gap Favorite Khaki Cotton Beige Dress Shorts, solid flat front, size 38 waist by 12 inch inseam. This next item was the one that I picked up for $2, it sold for $84.79, so that's quite a profit, $84.79. That includes shipping, but let me show you what it was. Here's a look at it. It's a 12 inch avatar doll. Keyword girl, soft, silicone, lifelike, very small doll, infant, kids, and gift. Let me give you a look at the rest of these photos so you can get a look at uh, what these are. They sell for some big money. This one is not even the most expensive one out there. They're made of silicone. Kind of a crazy looking doll from uh, the movie Avatar. There they are. So that's just proof that sometimes it pays off to walk down that toy aisle. Walk down that toy aisle, I saw that there, it kind of caught my eye, a little blue doll, right? A little alien sitting there. Uh, it was a different fabric than most dolls, you know, not hard plastic. It was that soft silicone plastic. Picked it up, took a look at it. There was no price on it, so I brought it to the register, and they gave it to me at the $1.99 cost uh, for just a basic toy, I think it was. And so I got that for $2 and uh, sold for $84 and change. I got it here in a box. We're going to pack it up, uh, make sure it gets there nice and safe since it is kind of a big purchase. Let me show it to you. We found the perfect box. It fits right in there. We put on a little bed of uh, bubble and uh, there it is, a little avatar baby ready to be shipped. We're going to put that baby to sleep, put some more bubbles on top and send it on a journey to its new home. Right there they are. Here come those shipping labels. Let's get these orders in the mail and off to the customer. So any guesses where that Avatar doll is off to? You guys got a guess? Let me tell you. Sandstone, West Virginia. That's where it's going. Sandstone, West Virginia. So it's going to find a new home there in uh, West Virginia. All right, two more orders for the tote, a pair of shorts, and a little Avatar doll heading its way to West Virginia. All right, we just had a couple more orders come in, including a pair of Air Jordans that sold for big money. Let me show you guys what sold. This t-shirt sold for $13.13. .13. It's an Impressions Crew Neck t-shirt, animal print, tan and black, rayon size medium. And here's the big money order, $259.65 for these uh, Nike Air Jordan 4 Retro White Cement Gray 2016 Basketball Shoes, model number 8406061692. So I'm going to go locate that t-shirt and those pair of Air Jordans, uh, find a box for those Jordans since they have to go FedEx. Um, so they get that authenticity guarantee and uh, we'll get those packed up and ready to go out in the mail. All right, we got these Air Jordans here. We found a nice box for those and that uh, Impressions Animal Print t-shirt. Here come the labels. Uh, we'll get these packed up and ready to drop off today. All right, we got one more for USPS and then this guy goes to FedEx. And so we'll have quite a load to go into town today. So the good news is we won a couple more storage units, a nice small one, easy to clean out, a little 5x5 five five with barely anything in it, and then we won a, a tool unit. It's a 5x10 in Everett, not clearly full. Um, I think we can get them both um, in one truckload. I think that's the plan Monday, since they're closed on Easter, tomorrow's Easter. Um, but Monday I'm going to go clean those out, so be sure to check back Tuesday if you want to see the contents of that video. 
Um, hopefully I'll get that video done and we'll do a little unboxing uh, later next week. Another couple storage units, uh, some more treasures to sort through to see what we got. We're working on the garage right now, getting it cleaned out, getting the last two units sorted out. Going to make some more donations today. and uh, So we'll have a little bit more space to handle this next batch of stuff as it comes in. Let me give you a look at this tool unit. It's pretty interesting. Um, I paid a little bit more than I would like to. Um, I think it was $300 I bid it up to. I wanted to get it about $200. I went ahead and uh, paid up for this one. Um, we could break even on it and make a, make a nice video out of it or there might be some um, hidden treasures in there. You never know. That's kind of why you got to take that gamble. So at least we got some fresh uh, storage unit content coming your way. But let me give you guys a look at it so you can get a sneak peek of what we'll be cleaning out on Monday. So here's a look at the photos that they gave us. This comes from Everett. Um, so we'll have to make a trip down to Everett to pick these up. Both the same facility though, which was nice. So there it is. See some sort of air compressor or something, a nice gas can, a nice extension cord. So there is some nice tools in here. There's some wood in there, which, you know, wood is like a gold these days. Um, and in the left hand side there appeared to be, well there's a shovel, you see that there. The left hand side appeared to be a stackable, um, there's a jack there, you see it, but a stackable tool, um, tool case. Um, let me see if I can get back to that and show it to you guys in a little bit more detail. There it is. So if you um, click on this, let's see if we can make it a little bigger for you. See that there? The stackable tool case. So that's the big uh, mystery. If there's anything in there, if that's full of snap-on tools, we have a, a gold mine. If it's empty, uh, then we don't make any money. But uh, that's kind of the mystery of it all. Plus, whatever's behind this wood right here, um, there might be something back there that uh, we're unaware of. So that's the plan to go pick that one up on Monday. The other one was just a little... Uh small unit just a garbage can and looked like it had been cleaned out once before and this was the leftovers but again i only paid 20 bucks for that one so we'll see we'll see what's in that here's a look at that other one a quick look at it it says uh outdoor garbage can two printers clothes blankets rug skeleton dog chair metal rack and christmas lights so uh, we'll see it says there's a little bit more in there than i thought there was but uh there's a look at it See if we can get it to go to the next photo. It looks to be stuck. So we might have to uh, go with just based on that. There's a chair in there as Here's well. Here's a better look at it. Let me zoom in on that for you guys so you can get a look. See, there it is. It's a garbage can full of stuff. There's a tote there um, that's mystery in it, but uh, the rest of it is pretty empty. There's that other chair, uh, kind of a throwaway chair. So we'll got to decide what we want to do with that. That might end up being a donation or some firewood. There's one shoe there, so I don't know if the other shoe... See, it looks like somebody had cleaned that out and they just left that. Um, so maybe it's the stuff they didn't want. So at least we got a nice garbage um, garbage can there, so we'll see what's in it. If most of it's garbage, we'll just throw it away and uh, move on to the other one. But uh, I figured if I was going that way, I might as well get another one and uh, chance it. See if maybe there's something in there worth over $20. Who knows? People miss things all the time. So just because it was purchased once, it looks like, um, doesn't mean that there's uh, no value in it. Uh, there, there could be something that they didn't know was valuable. Or clothing, a lot of times people don't uh, realize clothing has value. So while we were winning those and packing up those orders, those Air Jordans sold, I showed you guys those. That was a good sale, over $250 for those. We had another um, package show up at the door. Let me show you. Here it is, another mystery box. This one's coming from Boylston, Massachusetts. Boylston, Massachusetts. And let's get into this and see what we got. All right, we got into the box, and uh, those of you who've been watching the channel, you probably know what we got. It's more hats, another hat lot. Uh, this was just a trio of hats. Let me show you the original listing and then we'll look at them in person and uh, check out the quality. So here's a look at the original listing. We paid $19.55 for these three. It uh, looks to be uh, the clippers there. Cool little light brown clipper, uh, light blue rather, clippers hat. And then we have a Boston um, blue hat, World Series hat, the Boston Red Sox with the pink bill. Then we got the Padres. 
We got the Padres hat, San Diego Padres. So we got the trio, 1955. So with a buy cost of $19.55 means we paid, what was it, uh, $6.52, 6 dollars per hat for these. So we paid up a little bit more than usual, but this was just a trio. Usually we buy like 20 plus, you know, so uh, this was just a small lot. Let's take a look at the quality and see if you guys think I made a good buy here. All right, here's that first one, that Clippers hat, LA Clippers. It has the LA on the side there, Clippers on the side. This is a strap back, kind of baby blue in color. Um, 47 is the brand, one size fits all, has the NBA seal right there. So it is a legit uh, Clippers NBA sponsored hat. 47 is a, a well-known brand here. So a nice clean hat. So that one definitely is probably a $20 hat, I would say. that You sell that one, that pays for the unit probably. Pays for the lot. And then we still have these two here, this little Boston Red Sox. Uh, this is kind of a different one with the uh, um, pink bill. Look at that. These are really clean hats, so I am happy with the condition. One size fits all, again, on that 47 uh, tag. This one's snap back instead of strap back. So we got the Boston here. There it is, the big B. And then we got the white and pink World Series logo here. This is kind of embroidered on there, so good quality hat, a snapback. Um, happy with that one too, probably that $20 piece right there. Now this one is the San Diego Padres, again the 47, so all three of these are the same brand. Has the San Diego on the side, snapback on this one. This one may have been worn a little bit more, but still really clean. 47 snapback Padres. It uh, might be dented in a little from the um, the box when I took it out, uh, but uh, yeah, its shape is held its shape pretty nice, and uh, it's ready for resale. So, three hats I'd say are definitely uh, twenty dollar hats. So you know, turning your nineteen dollars and fifty five cents into sixty dollars is kind of how I'm thinking about it. Tripling my investment. So uh, that's the plan. List these up. Add it to the photo station and get them listed as soon as possible. We'll get those photographed and in the queue to be going up in the store. So hopefully you guys enjoy that little look at some online arbitrage. You know, I do that on occasion. Buy something online with the purpose of uh, selling it back online for profit. Uh, when you can buy hats like that for six and, you know, flip them for... Um, for 20 plus, uh, that's the way to do it, you know, triple your investment right away. So it's kind of a fun way to get some inventory coming right to the doorstep. You don't have to go searching for it. Just do a little quick search online uh, and find the deals and then order them right to your place. All right, looks like I just accepted another offer. This one for the classic Point Break on Blu-ray movie, a film disc starring Patrick Swayze and Keanu Reeves. Keyword adrenaline. So we're going to get this packed up. All right, we got one more order for the post office. We'll throw that one in there and get it dropped off today. So we just had this show up, showed up from FedEx. I'm hoping it's not a return of those Jordans, but it might be another hat lot. We'll take a look in here and see what we got. All right, good news. It's not a return. It's another hat lot. Let's see what we got in this box. All right, I got into the box. I stacked them up here. This is $28.82 worth of hats. 2882 shipped. We got all these hats for 2882. Let me give you guys a look at the original listing. So I won this lot for $8.49 plus shipping. 2882 shipped. Let's give you guys a look at the original photos. They took a couple of the front. Quite a few. You see there the Colts, uh, the Boston, the Under Armour. Johnson number 48, the Texas Rangers back there, Home Depot Racing, the big T there, KFL Buccaneers, I don't know about that, but you see the Notre Dame visor there, so there's a couple decent hats in this lot for $28 and change, we'll see what they look like, uh, there's that Boston hat, that's a pretty cool one, we'll see if that uh, condition wise is any good. Um, I'm seeing that Boston Forever Warped, a warp tour. I did see that one in there. That was kind of cool. We got that Under Armour. So let's take a look at them. So buy cost on these is $2 and what was it? 20, 206. 
206 per hat. $2.06 per hat. Let's take a so look. 14 hats total, 206 per hat. Here is the first seven. You, you guys saw this one, this bright orange one, the Home Depot Racing. So a nice racing hat. Home Depot apparently has their own car, the number 20 Home Depot. Uh, this is a strap back on the Chase Chase uh, Authentics tag. It's got a little uh, Joe Gibbs Racing uh, logo on the back there. You see that Joe Gibbs Racing strap back? So that's a nice one, a bright uh, racing hat. Here's that Indianapolis Colts, that uh, famous logo there, the horseshoe. And uh, this is on the auto tag. A nice uh, strap back. So a decent looking uh, Colts hat. That's probably a $15 hat right there. Um, Texas Rangers. This might be a kid's hat. It looks kind of small. Uh, snap back. Yeah, that's got to be kids. Uh, o O C O C uh, Outdoor Cap. That's what that brand is. It's got the MLB logo on there, so it is kind of the legit thing. Uh, Condition-wise, it's not great, but uh, probably a kid's size uh, Texas Rangers hat, or maybe women's. We'll have to see, uh, get the scope on it, see what the tag says. But it is kind of smaller. She Devil Motorsports. So this is the next one. I'm not familiar with this, but another racing hat. She Devil has the horns there on the logo. This is a winner NMCA Open Comp Atlanta Dragway. So this might be a, a local hat. Uh, Roush drag team the Roush drag team S this is a fitted hat size large XL flex fit so uh, kind of a different hat she devil motorsports not sure that might be a ten dollar hat KFL Buccaneers this might be um, a different league and that definitely not the NFL uh, so we'll have to look at look that up see what the KFL is all about new era fitted large XL um, on the new era tag there so nice looking hat KFL Buccaneers not the Tampa Bay Buccaneers the KFL Buccaneers so that might be a different league there this is uh what does this say now or never team captain excellent so it's got that kind of referee look to it team captain looks to be a brand new hat with the tag still on it snap back on the Art class, art class, one one size fits most. Kind of has that blue and white and red striped pinstriping to it. So definitely a cool hat, brand new. So uh, probably ask 15 for that one since it is brand new. And then we got the Notre Dame visor, kind of uh, been worn. It says Irish on the back there. Adidas, okay, this is Adidas branded Notre Dame visor. Got the ND on front, so we could probably ask 10 bucks for that. A nice little visor. Um, got the strap back with the Velcro. Um, so there's the first seven again. Just over two dollars with 206 we're paying per per hat, so not bad. So with a buy cost of just 206 per hat, we can't really go wrong with these. Uh, you know, some of them weren't great, but um, there were enough nice ones in there that we're definitely going to make some profit on these. Just based on that first seven hats, I'm seeing profit already. And we got seven more to go. Let me give you guys a look at the next seven. All right, here's a look at the other seven in this lot. Uh, there was this nice Boston hat. It does have a little bit of uh, discoloration here on the bill, but uh, kind of cool Boston design there. We might scrub that a little, see if we can get that uh, cleaned up a little bit nicer because it will improve the overall value of the hat significantly. This is 100% acrylic, has the Boston on the back. So we hit that with a little stain remover, get that cleaned up a little, looking a little bit brighter. I think we could probably get uh, 15 bucks for this hat, maybe even 20 if we get it cleaned up nice because uh, it is a definitely a, a iconic looking Boston hat. Boston, a lot of Boston fans out there, so those always sell well. Uh, let's go straight here. Boston Johnson number 48. So another racing uh, team hat. It looks like pink. Probably a women's hat. Um, NASCAR on the back and a Team Lowe's embroidery on the back there. A nice strap back Johnson. So probably a $10 piece there. Another Boston hat here. The basic Boston B on there. The blue and the red colorway with the white striping. Uh, fan favorite is the brand on this one. One size fits all strap back. So that's a, probably a $15 piece as well. 
Um, at least that's what we'll ask and we'll accept offers. This, uh, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, some sort of Asian writing. Stand fast, it says. Brand new. It has the tag right on it. Oh, they paid 99 cents. It looks like at a thrift probably. Ooh, skull and crossbones on the back. So we'll probably just pop that tag off. We want to ask more than 99 cents for it, that's for sure. Um, but it's a flex fit lids. So a small medium lids. Um, not sure why they would leave the thrift store tag on there, but uh, they did. So a nice lids hat with some uh, Asian writing on the front or some sort of design. Um, probably not a lar not a expensive hat, maybe a, a five to ten dollar hat, I guess. Here, this is, appears to be another kid's hat. I think um, quite discolored. I was hoping for a little bit better um, um, condition for this Under Armour because uh, Under Armour does sell pretty well. Under Armour kids hat. Uh, we could spray that and run it through the wash, see what it comes out. Youth, small, medium. We might just list that up for five bucks and hope someone picks it up as a, a play hat. Baseball on the back, Under Armour baseball. It looks like they spilled coffee on it or something, I don't know. Um, quite discolored on the front, so not really happy with the condition of that one. Definitely a $5 piece at best. Um, but we do have a couple more. This one, again, condition issues on the bill. A little bit of discoloration. So we might have to do a little bit of work on these. A big T, I don't know what this uh, team is, but uh, it is a fitted hat. Let's see, Richardson, um, size 40, large XL, fitted hat. It says drive in the in the inside there. So a fitted hat with the T. I I don't know if that's a Texas of some sort, but uh, we'll have to look that up, see what kind of Google image search that uh, results that turns up. But uh, it is a nice hat, um, even though it is a little discolored on the bill. This uh, inside is really soft right here, so a well-constructed hat fitted hat um, Richardson so a nice hat probably uh, 10 bucks if we can get it cleaned up a little bit nicer maybe more if we can get this discoloration off the bill but uh, some work to be done on these this is probably one of my favorites of the batch uh, forever warped so this is back from the warped music tour uh, says right here on the back vans Warped tour 16 from 2016 so this is uh, approaching vintage, um, no not quite, but uh, definitely a nice looking hat. Um, I don't know if it's a kid's hat, it looks a little bit small, but uh, it might be a, a kid's size. It doesn't say kids, but uh, we might list that adult. Um, I'll try it on and see what I think. You can adjust the snapback of course, but it looks to be like a smaller size hat. So maybe it's a women's. Who knows? Forever Warp though, 2016 uh, Vans Warp Tour hat. Pretty cool little piece. So. There they are, 14 hats, 206 per hat. So what do you guys think? Was that a good investment? Uh, some of those hats, the condition wasn't up to par, but uh, you get so many hats and you're paying such a low buy cost for them, you gotta assume that some of them aren't gonna be as good as the others. But uh, I think overall we'll do all right. Uh, $28 we paid for the entire lot, 206 per hat. I think we sell one or two at a higher price point. Uh, the rest will be all profit. So we're going to put that in the po photo station and uh, we'll just uh, plan to list them as, uh, as their available space in the store. Um, we still have a stack that we're listing uh, today. We've got a few hats already listed this morning and uh, we have some more that we can list this afternoon. But uh, good to have some extra inventory in that photo station ready to go for when, uh, when the sales start rolling in. Uh, we got a healthy uh, tote full that I got to take to the post office this afternoon. So I'm going to get busy and uh, see if there are any more orders out of the small store and then we're going to head into town. I've yet to check out the small store so we're going to log in there and see what kind of action we have and I'll let you guys know. All right, we're back up to three stacks of hats. We've been, uh, we listed about 15, or got 15 photographs. We're still working through them, but we've got three stacks again. I did uh, donate a bunch of stuff, or I've got it in the car to donate uh, this afternoon, but I was debating, should I donate this? Got this out of a storage unit. A cool little Mickey Mouse Kids, let's go explore, it says on there, passport. Got it out of a storage unit a while back. It's, a, it's on wheels, and it rolls and zips. Perfect little kid's uh, travel case. Has a little uh, scuff damage on the sides here, just to be expected. It's probably been used once, and uh, they probably slung it around a little and hit a few things on their uh, tour, but uh, definitely a cool little Mickey piece. I, I had trouble just donating that because it's so cool, 
but I don't really want to ship it either but um, I don't know what would you guys do should I post that up and just deal with it find a box for it and ship it or should I give it to the thrift and let them deal with it I have been donating a lot of nice suitcases um, that I've gotten in storage units so I feel a little bit uh, silly just uh, throwing away that money uh, when there is potential to be made on nice suitcases but uh, sometimes I just don't want to ship stuff this large all right, just logged into the small store. Looks like we got three orders out of the small store today. So I'm going to go um, grab those three orders, get those packed up and ready to add to the tote before we head into town. That way we'll have uh, everything we've uh, sold packed up and ready, dropped off at the post office, and uh, it'll get there in a timely manner. So let's take a look and see what's sold out of the small store. There you see it. Three orders for $50.75. 50 dollars for three orders. First item sold for $8.28. It's a medium champion duo dry short sleeve polyester gray v-neck t-shirt. Second item sold for $23.63. It's a brand new Peanuts Merry Christmas Snoopy green and white and red holiday stocking measures 19 inches by 9 inches. So that's kind of interesting. I'm still selling Christmas stuff. I did put a lot of effort into listing a bunch of Christmas stuff. I did some uh, bulk listing of them. Uh, those didn't really work out. So I pulled the nicer items of those stockings with brand new uh, peanuts. Uh, Charlie Brown and Snoopy and the rest of the gang had some cool peanuts uh, stockings and a lot of those have sold uh, They were really well made and people do collect those and they like those uh, So still selling them $23 and change for that one. So it's cool to see some Christmas stuff Selling still this this late in the season final item sold for $18 and 84 cents just listed this one March 29th was that yesterday yeah, last night listed this one. This Iron Man came in one of the hat lots. It's the Iron Man black snapback trucker style baseball hat cap solid cotton polyester. This was the one from uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. You may have seen me talk about this in one of the videos. Um, just posted it and it sold overnight. So uh, somebody collects these, I guess, and uh, they were looking for this one. And maybe they ran the race, who knows, and they wanted the... Iron Man hat to prove it, uh, but there it is, the Iron Man Chattanooga, Tennessee. Pretty cool. So there it is, $18.84 for just one of the hats that came out of that lot. That was uh, the one of the lots that I purchased and uh, had some issues with only half of the lot showing up. Only eight of the 15 hats showed up. They did make well on it and sent the rest of the hats as well as a few extras. And I think that might have been one of the extra ones. So uh, $18 and change in uh, in uh, bonus inventory. So uh, their mistake was my gain on that one. And uh, it's cool to see some of those hats already selling. We've got a few more to list still from that lot. So we're in the profit on that one for sure. All right, let's get these labels printed. All right, a couple more for the tote. And then we're going to head off to the post office. All right, we got all of my orders in the tote. And as you can see, a car load of donations. We're going to take that to the Goodwill. Hopefully they'll accept that before uh, 7. I think they're open until 7. So uh, we're going to get over there and uh, hopefully make that donation. Get rid of some stuff and make some room for some fresh stuff Monday to be coming into the garage. Feels good to get rid of a few things and uh, lighten the load a little bit, uh, allow for a little bit of space and uh, so that way we can uh, bring in some more storage units, uh, make some more fun videos, right? So uh, we're going to get to that post office and we're going to go on a nice run around Lake Padden and then head home and do a little bit more listing. We did have a couple more sales come into the big store, but I wanted to get these orders out in the post office today. So we'll check in on that once we get back. <laughs> We made it. We made it here to Lake Patton listening to a little Counting Crows, Mr. Jones. You guys remember that song? That song? He says, uh, she's looking at me. I don't think so. She's looking at, no, I, she's looking at you. I don't think so. She's looking at me. That's my favorite line, I think. One of my favorite lines of that song. Great song. Uh, so I'm going to get this uh, 2.6 miles in. 
get the get around Lake Pad and try to think of something I'm grateful for besides the counting crows, right? Um, all right, we made it another successful 2.6 around Lake Padden. Grateful for the day, for the sunshine out there shining on me. Even warmed me up a little bit on that last mile. Hit you right in the face. That sun was set and it was pretty nice out there today. I was thinking, uh, I'm a, I got a little confused. The counting crows and the black crows. Counting crows was uh, Mr. Jones and uh, black crows was hard to handle now. Two hits in the 90s. I almost got, to, got them confused there for a second before I left the car. How could I? I was uh, reading something today that one of the my high school alumni uh, posted about uh, a youngster who didn't know who Eddie Vedder and Pearl Jam was. I mean, it's hard to believe, you know. We've come to that day and age where someone in their t early teens might not know who Eddie Vedder is. I mean, come on, you got to educate yourself, people. That being said, I guess I'm uh, grateful for the example people are setting for me. I see people online, people in my space, reseller space, uh, Tucker Upper, I watch him quite often, and he's in that storage buying game these days. He's buying up these units. I think he spent 550 on his last unit, and I was thinking that as I was uh, bidding on my unit today. I wanted to go get it at about $200, and I was like, uh, Tupper can drop 550. I could easily drop 300, right? You got to take a chance in life sometimes. And uh, I did that today. I think I dropped, um, it'll be 519 that I got to show up with. You get 200 of that back, so about 319 on two units. Um, so we'll get that on Monday. We'll pick those up and hopefully we get something good out of it. I'm mo mostly doing it for the content. I don't think these are going to be big money units. But uh, we might get some uh, interesting tools, and you never know what you're going to find in one of these totes. You might find something interesting that you can move online for $100. Who knows? There might be a pair of Timberland boots in that box of Timberland boots. And then again, it might be just full of trash. You never know. That toolbox might be full of snap-on tools, or it might just be empty. You just never know. Sometimes you got to take that chance in life. And uh, I see a lot of these storage unit buyers, they take that chance... They've got some different avenues to move stuff. I'm just relying on eBay right now. So it's uh, one stream of income. Um, and we pretty much just donate the rest away. So it's, it's a different game than a lot of you guys are playing out there. But uh, that's what I'm up to these days. So I guess I'm grateful that I'm brave enough to take some of those chances. You know, sometimes you got to take some chances in life and uh, s you settle with the results. You never know what's going to happen. Um, and uh, that's how you have to approach life sometimes is uh, take a few chances, uh, live on the edge a little bit. Um, you know, it's not going to break you. If you got the money to do it, you can uh, explore different avenues of uh, income these days, especially with this online marketplace. There's so much out there, so much inventory to be had, uh, so much content to be made. So we're working hard to put out content, fresh content for you guys every day. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this upcoming uh, storage unit buy. Tune in Tuesday. We're going we're gonna to show you our trip down south. And um, I'll show you a little bit how I load it up. Uh, maybe get into a few boxes Tuesday. Definitely Wednesday, Thursday. We're going to open up uh, the, what we get in those two units. And I'll show you guys everything. And you can determine whether it was a win or a loss. If I uh, took the right chance or maybe it was... Um, the first time I uh, lose money on a unit. So far I haven't lost money on any unit. Um, you know, there's so much um, profit to be had on these. There's so much stuff. You just, uh, you make money on every one you buy, it seems like. If you have the, the willpower and the, the energy to load that up, uh, you can take it home and uh, turn it for profit. It's uh, definitely an interesting game. It's very hard on the body, very dirty work sometimes. But um, I'm grateful for the, the fun that I'm able to have doing it. So I guess I'm grateful for a little spring cleaning. We got in that garage today. We took a load to um, the restore. We got rid of an armoire that I picked up. I had that in my store, uh, storing some uh, inventory in it. Um, it was kind of interesting. I picked it up in uh, Marysville. Brought it all the, way, all the way to Bellingham. It was the perfect little armoire to hold um, the non-clothing items I had listed when I had my suite downtown. And I brought it all the way to Bellingham. It, the thing probably weighs 200 pounds. And uh, I, I was going to just uh, slide it into my shop, you know, from the little loading area. It's about 20 feet. And I saw these four guys coming. They were going to go have some wine at the winery there. 
and I asked them if they could help me and those guys just picked the thing up and uh, took it right into the shop so that worked out perfectly uh, eventually I had to clean it all out ended up at home and now I'm finally uh, getting rid of it um, but it served its purpose it was a fun little um, piece of furniture and hopefully the restore can find a new home for it uh, we brought a couple things over there that we found in storage units and it's always a good uh, spot to uh, repurpose items. You can go in there and find just about anything you need for your house. So uh, definitely get into the ReStore if you need to uh, buy something second hand and don't want to spend the big bucks on furniture. They have some good stuff in there and uh, you can find an all wood armoire right now. So uh, get in there and check it out. It'll be interesting to see what they price that thing up for. Yeah, it seems like the, the city of subdued excitement, a.k.a. Bellingham, has a lot of those, um, the restore, places where you can repurpose things, you know. They have all kinds of thrift stores. If you start look, looking for them, you find them. They've taken the opportunity of having all those uh, young, broke, half-broke uh, college students down there looking for furniture for their apartments and whatnot and uh, making that available to them in a lot of different ways um, through thrifts or through restores repurposing furniture there's been a lot that have come and gone over the years so um, it's glad to uh, I'm happy to donate to that you know you do these storage units and you're able to uh, feel like you're doing something helpful for the community by giving back a little bit um, you know I, I oftentimes buy a lot from them as well you know when you think about all the money I've spent at uh, Bellingham Goodwill over the years I'm sure um, there's been thousands you know come uh, spent there in the last few years um, it'd be interesting to see I mean I, I keep track of everything that I spend but uh, the dollar amount the total dollar amount since I've uh, been reselling uh, I know it's uh, it's up there for sure so I guess today I'm grateful those Jordans, those Jordans keep selling them. It seems like I list one, I sell one, another big sale, $250 for a pair of Michael Jordan uh, basketball shoes. You know, I got that in a storage unit about three years ago, and I've been listing them, and finally they're starting to sell. And so a day like that where you get a big score like that, a home run sale, as I call it, um, it really helps out. Um, it takes a little stress off. You don't have to work as hard, it seems like. So I was able to uh, get that sale this afternoon and then uh, felt like it was okay to spend some time cleaning out the garage a little and uh, taking a chance on another storage unit. So it's easy to spend a little when you uh, make make a nice chunk like that. So uh, grateful those sales keep rolling in. Uh, I'm going to try to get a few more Jordans listed. I've got quite a, a load of them still to go. So uh, they're getting up there. It seems like the more you list, you know, you put that into the marketplace, then they uh, there's one that sells. You know, you list one, you sell one. And that works a lot similar with the hats. You know, you, you list a batch, you, you sell a batch. And uh, we're working on improving our sell-through rate. And I think it's starting to improve a little bit. I see uh, sales are up as I lower prices and switch from uh, free shipping to calculated shipping. So that process is uh, going well. Um, and uh, the business seems to be uh, turned around a little bit. Um, it's been kind of slow since the move home, so it's nice to see that uh, turnaround happening. So I guess I'm grateful for Easter, right? Easter's tomorrow. I think we're going to go south and visit uh, both my mom and uh, my wife's mom and dad. I'll get over there to their family, that side of the family. I haven't seen them for quite some time, so it'll be nice to get over there, see what everybody's up to, and uh, visit a little this Easter. So I'm grateful for that time we get to spend with family during the holidays. I know Easter's not a huge celebration for us as a family, but we're more Thanksgiving and Christmas type of people. But uh, we're going to try to get south uh, for Easter and see some folks and um, visit and see what's up. So grateful for those uh, memories we're about to make tomorrow and uh, that we have the time to do that. We're not uh, stuck working too hard on a Sunday, Easter Sunday. We get uh, able to get away and uh, make that happen. So I think that's plenty to be thankful for, right? More than enough. I encourage you all to maybe think about what you're thankful for today. And uh, on this uh, Easter tomorrow, maybe uh, you'll be around family and you can say how thankful you are for them. So uh, start with that and then maybe make it a part of your life to at least write it down or think about it. Uh, you don't have to speak it out into the universe like I do you know I got a channel to monetize so I'm still working to get to uh, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours so I got a lot of talking to do but uh, I'm making progress on it I want to thank everybody for watching this uh, and helping me get a little closer to that goal I think we're gonna go check out the lake see what the view looks like and uh, give you guys a look at the little bit of nature maybe we can see some geese and some ducks we'll see
All right, I mentioned the wildlife and there it is, a couple ducks, a couple geese. We got them here waiting for us, so they were ready to go. This guy's doing a little neck dance for me. Look at that, look at that little dance, what is that? What do you guys call that, the little goosey goose? He's doing that little neck dance, I wonder if that means something. Feeding, getting a little snack in down here by the lake. I'll let these guys eat and uh, get down there uh, and give you guys a look at the lake. Let's see if he does that neck thing again. Oh, there he goes. There's the side view. This guy's definitely got his eye on me. He's pretty active with his little neck there. Let's see if we can get some flight out of these guys. They're just waddling around. Give the give the people some action. I think they're uh, splitting up. They're going different ways. And these guys are still just snacking away. Please do not feed the wildlife. Here's a look at the lake today. The sun just set, so it is nice and still out here. A beautiful day for a little look at Lake Padden. Hopefully you guys enjoy this look at nature here. Um, the sun is... Uh, goes down and it gets a little cold out here so we got to keep moving a little bit. Seems like sometimes I get in the car and I start to start saying what I'm grateful for about uh, 15 minutes later I'm all cooled off and then I jump out here into the the cold again and uh, it gets a little chilly so I got to keep moving but I'm gonna give you guys another look at this lake uh, give you guys a look from the other side. Alright here's a look from uh, the other side of the area here and uh, there was some nice cloud cover, but it is kind of uh, dissipated a little bit um, when that sun went down. Things kind of changed a little, so not as beautiful as it was when I was running and that sun was shining in my face. But let's see if we can get this camera to uh, show that cloud cover. There's a little bit up there. There it is. You guys see it right above those trees. So I think we're just gonna say goodbye to Mr. Geese and Mr. Duck over here and then we'll hit the car and head home. Just realized I didn't eat lunch again. I skipped lunch, had a big breakfast, uh, some pancakes and toast and whatnot uh, for breakfast. So uh, I gotta get home and get something to eat. Um, I know that there's food there waiting for me and I stopped at uh, Fred Meyer and got some groceries. So uh, we're ready to eat, but uh, gotta get home and fill up, fuel up. All right, there's one more look for you guys. We'll see what they do as I walk by. See if they give you that cool neck dance they were doing. Maybe that's part of the digestion process. They got those long necks that they gotta get all that food down. Maybe that's part of it. They just uh, do that little shimmy shake like the Kobayashi shake, you know, the hot, hot dog eating champion. Do that little Kobayashi shake and uh, get that grass on down the gullet. Maybe that's part of it. I don't know, they get pretty aggressive with their eating. It's, uh, it's quite interesting. Those little beaks can sure do a lot of damage down there. Look at that. Look at them go. They got some, uh, some speed to that uh, old beak of his. There are those the birds. So that was kind of funny. I had that close-up on the goose and I was uh, kind of just telling you guys what he was up to and uh, not sure if you heard that big honking noise, but uh, somebody blew their nose. Kind of startled me. I didn't know somebody was over there, but uh, they were standing over there, blew their nose, and I thought it was uh, another geese honking at me, but uh, that's what it was. Somebody just uh, blowing their nose, a nice loud one. All right, much warmer in here. I want to thank everybody for watching that moment of gratitude and that little look at Lake Padden. Um, if you haven't yet, please take a second to subscribe and ring that notification bell. I want to thank everybody for watching. Alright, I made it home, got showered up, uh, had some dinner, and uh, started listing some hats. I did my post-run gratitude video. That's up now. And um, I'm finishing up this vlog here. Another day in the life of a reseller. I did get a couple hats into the small store. I'm still listing hats into the big store as well. I'm probably going to get a couple more up into the big store. We did have a couple more sales come in. Let me show you those real quick. I'm probably going to pack them up in the morning, but I'll give you a sneak peek. There you see them. Two orders for $60.97. Uh, a t-shirt sold for $12.93 and a pair of, pair of shoes sold for $48.04. So $48.04 is a decent sale and uh, average sale for a t-shirt. Uh, so we'll pack those up in the morning. So overall, a pretty good day of sales today. Um, 
pretty happy with it once those uh, Jordans sell. That really helps boost the sales. So I like to see those sales, big sales come in. Uh, makes you feel a little bit better about the business. But I want to thank everybody for watching this one to the end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little moment of gratitude earlier. That little look at Lake Padden. Um, uh, the unboxing of the hats, the hat lots, we did those. And of course we have the upcoming storage unit buys that I did today. I'm going to be cleaning those out on Monday. So be sure to come back later this week. See what we got in those units. Take a look at those videos. Hopefully you enjoy that content. Uh, another unboxing of a storage unit. Uh, hopefully we'll find something cool in these. Um, I know the one was a kind of a tooled unit. So uh, there might be some good tools in there. But other boxes as well. So... We'll see you everything that it has to offer and how I deal with packing that all into the truck. That's the hard part, trying to get it all into one truck, one truckload. So I think I'm going to be able to do it on Monday. We'll get out there a little bit early and uh, make sure we can get it cleaned out and uh, have some time to handle all that work. Um, and maybe we'll visit with my mom on the way home, uh, make a stop in there in Arlington and say hello. Um, and uh, see if she wants to get on camera maybe open a box or something with me we'll see how things go come on back and we'll see um, but thanks again for watching this one to the end we'll see you on the next one bye